booktube back at it again in the same shirt because I'm recording it all on the same day. Today we're gonna talk about all those book covers that you see. There's those typical book covers and maybe you're getting tired of them but we're gonna talk about those typical book covers or at least some of them. Number one of overdone book covers, girl in giant dress sitting. You know, she's got a ball gown on, she's sitting on the floor, she's dope ass. Number two, girl in giant dress standing and looking off like this. Cause she's a female protagonist, she's gonna get ya, she's gonna kill ya, and she's gonna look pretty in a ball gown while doing it. Three, unclear stormy sky. You know change is coming. The your protagonist is gonna overthrow the oppressive government in the middle of a storm. Or Percy Jackson's gonna kill a bunch of gods in a storm because he, does, he loves his stormy skies. Percy Jackson only works in stormy skies. Number four, the most overdone book cover ever, half a face. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's just half a face. It's, it's a half a face. That's really what it is. It's just half a face. Am I half a face? Am I out of the frame enough to be half a face? I'm half a face. <laughs> Number five? Maybe four? Extreme close-up. On an eye, or on a lip, or on a nose. On a neck, they always love their extreme close-ups on their neck. Hipster graphic. Very popular nowadays. It's a cover, it's a solid color. It's got text. It's got some like doodly stuff. It's hipster. That's how you know you've got a good contemporary when you've got a hipster graphic. Finally, Chin neck chest, aka this. Yeah, check it out. It's my chin neck chest. That's your book cover. There you go. Usually a hot male. I'm sorry I'm not a hot male, but you get the feel. You get the hots for the male protagonist that you're gonna be reading about with his chin neck and chest. That's it. Goodbye for now. There are books in the way. And there's a baby in the way.